Dear students, in this module, we will discuss in detail about the theory of change and response followed by the major criticisms of this theory in this module. The theory of change and response means that any society responds to a change. According to the theory, the process of modernization produces a multi-stage demographic transition. In first stage, both the death rate and birth rate are sufficiently high as a result that the population growth is low. This is followed by the birth rate remains high while death rate declines so that population growth becomes substantial. The birth rate begins to decline even as the death rate continues to fall and population growth begins to stabilize and finally both the birth rate and the death rate are low and are of equal magnitude resulting in the population growth is zero or negligible. In 1963, Kingsley Davies, a famous sociologist and demographer, proposed a theory in which he tried to explain the declines in birth rates in developed countries. It was known that even before the secular decline of birth rates in industrial countries, mortality rates had started to go down as a result of which the rates of natural increases had gone up. This happened in Northwest Europe as well as in Japan, though the latter lagged by 50 years. Davis points out that the danger of this demographic situation of sustained growth was realized by the people in industrial countries and in order to grapple with the situation, they responded in every possible manner. Within a brief period, they quickly postponed marriage, embraced contraception, began sterilization, carried out abortions, and migrated outward. According to Davies, this was a deliberate multi-phase response and it proved to be extremely effective in bringing down fertility. People in these countries found that the sustained fall in mortality which was brought about by higher standards of living and improved public health programs in the wake of industrialization was handicapping them in their efforts to take advantage of the opportunities being provided by the emerging economy. As mentioned earlier also in Northwest Europe and Japan, economic development and population growth were almost simultaneous. This time, the aspirations of the people to get ahead and become respectable were aroused. It was primarily the fall in mortality which was responsible for making it difficult for them to go ahead in life and therefore they began to modify their demographic behavior. Thus, the connecting link between stimulus, sustained drop in mortality and resulting increase in natural growth and the response or the curtailment of the rate of population growth by increasing the age at marriage, resorting to contraception and abortion and even migrating outward was the fear of losing the economic status achieved through rising prosperity. In Northwest Europe and Japan, the motivational linkage between the change and response was not the fear of poverty but loss of status. Every family was concerned with its prospective standing in comparison to other families within its reference group. According to Kingsley Davis, this was the reason why people modified their demographic behavior. Davis further points out that the multi-phase response to the growing rate of population growth was universal, that is, people from both urban and rural areas curtailed their growth rates. Thus, in response to the common belief 
that rural people lagged behind in making such demographic responses, Davis argued on the basis of statistical evidence that the demographic behavior of rural people did change and that it changed drastically. The rural people's response to the growing pressure on land was to resort to migration. The other response was postponement of marriage. As the economic revolution progressed, it was not difficult for rural people to migrate to cities to overcome rapid population growth. Kingsley Davis justified the universality of his theory by applying it to Ireland, a demographically unique country, and to Japan, a country which experienced increase in population growth much later than Northwest Europe did. One can see that traces of Dumont's theory of social capillarity are clearly visible in the theory of change and response, particularly in regard to the ambition to rise in the social scale and children acting as barriers. However, the theory of change and response is an improvement over the demographic transition theory in the sense that it used the Davis-Blake scheme of intermediate variables to explain the factors which affect fertility. There are several criticisms of Kingsley Davis theory of change and response. In 1965, David Glass criticized the theory of change and response on several grounds, though he also underlined the various merits of the theory. On the plus side, Glass mentions two points. Firstly, that the theory is more comprehensive and sophisticated. And secondly, that Davis had documented the multiphase responses by giving the actual experiences of two countries, that is Ireland, a deviant case in his opinion, and Japan. Glass finds this approach attractive and compliments King's Davis for having substantiated the mechanical responses to falling mortality by resorting to a so illogical analysis. However, Glass points out them that some historical facts do not fit in well with this theory. Some countries in Europe are known to have experienced a decline in fertility prior to decline in mortality. This in his opinion is a weakness in the theory of change and response. He has also questioned the property of taking mortality declines as the starting point for the change and response theory. This theory, Glass asserts, cannot be applied to the situation in the developing countries where large scale poverty exists where population growth is not accompanied by economic development as was the case in Northwest Europe and Japan and where the ambition and aspiration to rise in the social scale are not as evident. According to Glass, developing countries cannot wait for spontaneous responses because they cannot afford to do so. In this regard, Kingsley Davis theory of change and response, if we look at in summary, we can mention that the theory has immensely contributed to understand the motivational linkages between the change and response and how the theory connects the stimulus that sustained drop in mortality and resulting increase in natural growth and the response, the curtailment of the rate of population growth by increasing factors through age at marriage, resorting to contraception and abortion and even migrating outward was the fear of losing the economic status that is to achieve in rising prosperity. And by taking two contrasting countries, one is a 
North West Europe and the other one Japan, Kingsley Davies has brought out how the change and response was linked in its effects on fertility and mortality aspects. And Davies further point out that the multiphase response to the growing rate of population growth was universal. That is, whether people are living in urban or rural areas, they curtailed their growth rates. That is why, in response to the common belief that rural people lagged behind in making such demographic responses, Davis argued on the basis of statistical evidence that the demographic behavior of rural people did change and it changed drastically. And important thing is, though the theory of it is a more the theory of change and response is also an improvement over the demographic transition theory in the sense that it used the davis blake scheme of intermediate variables to explain the factors which affect fertility. Davis Gla David Glass, when he criticized the theory of change and response of Kingsley Davis on several grounds, but he also underlined the various merits of the theory. As he Glass clearly brought out that Kingsley Davis theory of change and response is a very comprehensive and sophisticated and also the way in which Davis had documented the multiphase responses by giving the actual experiences of two countries that is one Ireland which he categorized as a deviant case in his opinion and Japan and brought out that this approach is a very important as it has substantial the mechanical responses to falling mortality by resorting to so illogical analysis. However, Glass points out that some historical facts will not fit in well with this theory. For instance, according to him, some countries in Europe are known to have experienced a decline in fertility prior to decline in mortality. And in this regard, he is finding a weakness in the theory of change and response. He also questioned the propriety of taking mortality decline as the starting point for the change of response and theory. Glass asserts that it cannot be applied to situation in the developing countries. In this context, it is very important the characteristics we need to understand in which the most of the developing countries are located. As we all know that most of the developing countries where large scale poverty exists, where population growth is not accompanied by economic development as in the case of the developed countries as cited by Kingsley Davis. And another important dimension Glass has pointed out that in this scenario, the people's ambition and aspiration to rise in the social scale are not as evident. According to Glass, developing countries cannot wait for spontaneous responses because they cannot afford to do so. And he is right in that section when he pointed out that most of the developing countries where there is a widespread poverty, the population growth in the absence of economic development was a major hindrance and that is why in the absence of ambition and aspiration to rise in the social scale was not correct. Though most of the developing countries still are in this scenario, but there are some success stories in developing countries where in spite of low economic development, they started showing their interest to rise in the social scale and thereby to improve upon their quality of life. In summary, we can bring it out that the Kingsley Davis theory as postulated by him in his theory of change and response is a very important contribution in understanding that any society naturally responds to a change. According to this theory, the process of modernization produces a multi-stage demographic transition in first stage where there is a high birth and death rates followed by a decline in the 
mortality one followed by the fertility level and coming down to the last stage of where both are coming down thanks to this becomes substantial the birth rate begins to decline even as the death rate continues to fall and that is why there is a, a stage of birth and death rates coming down in this scenario and 1963 when kingsley davis has proposed is mainly to explain that there exists a secular decline of birth rates in industrial countries mortality rates though started to go down as a result of which the rates of natural increases also has to come down and it is in this context when there is a you know quickly the people respond to bring it by through postponed marriage they embrace the contraception began sterilization or carry out abortions or migrate to urban areas these are all the characteristics which even in developing countries we are recently seeing in the emerging economies the people migrate or they postpone marriages age or they embrace and they adopt contraceptions that is why the people's aspirations also contributory factor for stabilizing the population growth that is why one of the merits of the kingsley davis theory of change and response is that it has clearly brought out the type of uh, change that is inevitable in the society when there is a change in the economic development and also how the vital rates respond to the changes in the economic development and how pe people will become more rational and more ambitious in controlling their fertility and also to respond to the decline in mortality how they improve upon their fertility you know i'm reductions and methodologies that adopt through contraceptives and carrying out abortions or migrating to rural areas from rural areas to urban areas to take care of themselves from the poverty and that is why in they move to the higher social ladder and in this process it becomes a very important contribution that is why kingsley davis contribution through this theory is of immense value in understanding the fertility behavior when modernization and industrialization occurs and the type of response that people contributes and acts in these situations is very well illustrated by kingsley davis in his theory and this is one of the sophisticated theories in explaining the fertility behavior of the people especially in the developed countries